hello guys what's up and welcome to spicy updates with lovely on do not forget to like the video so you guys a whole lot of things happened yesterday in biggie's house i don't know where i'm going to start from is it uh wani exposing her sister's secret or uh, i don't even know where to start from but just watch to the end of the video the video because it's going to be a long one now let me start from the tax they had yesterday yesterday was the travel better tax it was in two rounds right um, yes the round one and the round two and for the round one it was um the hotel group that won that they had the zingways the beta and the flourish yeah they won because ben wow it was really a national level plane ben as they would call him he did he got about 90 something balls because the game you're supposed to pick just blue balls from the pool of balls you hand over to the person that is um, representing your group or your team and the person runs on that very slippery thing to go and dump it because it's just like um a walkway but it's not really that firm you, you guys know how it is with tax so at the end of the day they came for the second round and the second round has to do with they had about four teams actually okay they had oh, i wish i can remember their names team visa team hotel team i don't really know the first team they had um the checkers the the checkers the twins that's um one and handy and shatoria okay then they had other teams a whole lot of teams yeah so um for the first round it was the bend so the second round biggie told them it was going to be a you know the flip a matching game just like they did one time it was matching once you turn up you check the one that will match it okay and if it matches so at the end okay it was three games let me not forget yes because at the end of that one um cheese bar's group that was one e s handy's group the person that represented them was chizoba and chizoba did not do well in fact thank god i thought it was going to like cause um trouble between onyeka and chizoba because all their faces were they were so disappointed when chizoba went she didn't really get the instruction well she was just she was just flopping honestly bef before you knew it the her time went then they came to the person that really understood this very well was um I think Suj, not Suj, um, what's this guy's name? Mayo. Yeah, Mayo tried. All of them didn't really get it so well, but at the end of the day, okay, so for the third round was a kind of quest spin. Then when you spin, once it lands on any color, you pick the question from that color. They have sheets, they have kind of papers with diverse colors, just like the same color on the spin. So one representative is going to spin. Once the spinning, um, arrow lines on one whatever color it lines on the other person will pick that color the paper with that color and read out whatever question that was there so at the end of the whole game the end of it all the hotel group i think they came out the winners yeah it was expected because they did amazingly well they became the winners it was all fun though before that game they were having this um walkway whatever like they had a whole lot of fun yesterday so after that whole game whoa you guys that was pure surprise birthday for anita mm, it was really all fun housemates had fun when i mean fun they had a whole lot of fun last night like they were dancing vibing and all that so you guys that bring me to the main gist okay at least i really rounded off what happened yesterday okay yeah, we had our ships, Anita and Tofa. Okay, Anita and Tofa, all of the Anita confessing her love, telling to Tofa, telling Tofa how much she likes him and all that. So, you guys, coming to the main gist, whoa, it was just yesterday we got to find out that OC dated Handy. OC of um the Mbadiwe twins dated Handy. Wow. And I'm like, wow, since they came into the house, there hasn't really been any sign that these two actually knew themselves or actually dated whoa seriously so while sean was telling them that oc told him that he had dated handy and uh, he told oc that whoa handy has already told them because yesterday handy was asking sean if um 
if she's kind of like disturbing them so much, you guys know now the sister is always with Sean. If she's kind of like, you know, disturbing, ah, Sean say no, 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 no. You're not disturbing. You can you have, you have not even stayed with us uh, with us enough. Just anytime you feel feel like stay with us. And when it was like you're my bestie, but I feel there is also a need for you to give them some time. We can't be there all the time with them. We can't be there all the time with them. And yesterday Sean was like, sometimes you find it very hard to differentiate. But this hairstyle they did now also helped him to like differentiate them so we are like what seriously so these people all dated so while handy was telling sean she was like no the guy wasn't really good to her they were just knocking and the way she said it she just said the real word like these girls are very raw <laughs> honestly but sometimes i feel they talk a lot especially when he yes if you have fun i feel when he talks too much when he talks too much there is is a is different thing from being chatty and revealing a lot even some persons can be chatty but you still hold some things to yourself you can be chatty and still be conscious of what you tell people even if the person is your husband everything is not for him especially when it has to do with family i know yesterday they talked about a lot of things family friends relationship the wages but you know um everything is not they talk a lot even sometimes i remember they say you don't even discuss your ex with your current partner and besides this is a show you guys don't even know sean doesn't talk much you don't know what's up with this game you don't know what's up how you guys are going to end well probably they are just vibing catching cruise at the end of the day um i don't think they are even the type that will give a heck about a heartbreak if it ends it ends if it doesn't end but that i don't think i'm the only one i say need to i think they talk a lot yeah, I think they talk a lot. And even on the TL, you see some of their fans complaining, especially Wani. Wani, the one that really shook people was when she was talking about uh, being on period, how somebody knocked somebody on period. She was telling uh, Sean, I don't really know if she was talking about Handy, her sister, or she was just giving... Um, she was just talking about another person entirely, which is not her sister. But if she was talking about Handy, that means it's too much. She needs to start controlling the way she talks yes you guys met sean on the show it's not like people have known sean for like you should be conscious of what you tell him guys like sean i feel they are the type that they will keep they'll be acting like they don't know what they what they are doing but the when they sh you just get the shock of your life from them he's just reading them he might just be playing along okay so i feel they should start controlling how they talk they talk a lot especially exposing i know they are fast talkers i think i'll check my i'll take my time to check their zodiac know their zodiac and where they fall on okay yeah they they talk a lot so i said wow seriously so while handy was talking to sean she said osi wasn't really a nice person to wasn't really nice to her that even one time osi came to I think at the club or something, Oxy came and confronted her ex. You understand that kind of so that OC wasn't really nice to her at all. So that was why I'm like, wow. And in the guys in the house, you guys are not even acting like you've you've been with them, you've done this. If not that Sean said it, well, I don't think OC has just been going around telling everybody. I don't think so. Because I know them by the way twins too. They're also good with words. Yeah, though they may not really they are somehow though as if they are control freak. I think that's the same issue they are having with Nelly. Now, I think they'll want to, like, control people, you know, keep them under them and all that. He said Osi wasn't really nice to her. And I said, oh, no. So, Sean was like, ah, thank God it was not Wani. That if he was Wani, he wouldn't have even stepped because he can't just imagine that the person they are vibing. I said, yeah, thank God it was not Wani that one of them, but they were twins dated because if it was Wani, if I know chicken hair though, he wouldn't have just um a whole lot of things. So that yesterday they still talked about Victoria, how Victoria is coming out of her shell and is vibing more. But there was something I don't know what at the time Victoria was as if she was down. I don't know the conversation she had with Sean and I said, No, baby girl, you need to sit up and don't allow anybody to put you down. Yeah, in the house. Don't allow anybody to do that. Okay, because yesterday all of them were just having fun. The surprise birthday, Biggie True for Anita. Wow, it was really all fun. They all had fun, dance, vibe, ate, drank. Biggie brought drinks for them. Like, whoa, Anita's dead. And guys, Anita was putting on a matching outfit with Tofa. I said, what kind of the same color of clothes is this? You guys, that's the gist to him. I said, these twins, please, you guys should be keeping quiet, be coming down, okay? You guys should be coming down, and it's not everything you say. 
you know as much as people love you i know one thing with starship once people start love you they'll just be supporting go out her but i think when it comes to the speech type they should learn to like seal their mouth and you know just it's not everything even if sean is your all and all it's not everything that is supposed to be for his consumption some things are to be kept to you reserve some things and keep it to yourself yeah so you guys that's that for that i'll see you guys in my next gist soon bye